Hey, Jason here. Today's episode, I'm going to tell you why ROCE, Return on Capital Employed, is so important. Before I get to that, though, I need to let you know you can get this series as a podcast anywhere in the world for free on all major podcasting platforms, Stitcher, Anchor, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, and more. You can get this as part of the I Love Value Investing podcast anywhere in the world for free. So last week, I told you what Return on Capital Employed was. And this follows our previous series where I explained what ROIC was, why it was important, how to calculate it, how to calculate it, and how to calculate it in an advanced training. Um, we're doing that same kind of series here. So today, I, last week, I talked about what's or what ROC is. Today, we're going to talk about why it's important. If you want to find the videos I just mentioned from ROIC and last week's ROCE video, you can do those in the links below this video. Why is ROCE important? It's important because it helps you measure the profitability a company creates from its assets, operations. It essentially helps you figure out how well a company is using its assets to generate profits from its operations. That's why, 100% why, it's so important. There's a slight difference between ROCE ROIC and 11 return on net, channel, net tangible equity, which we'll get to at the end of this series. I want to get through all of these other videos first for you so you understand how to calculate them all first, and then I'll explain the differences in the last video in the series. But there is slight differences. It's important to keep that in mind because it is based on, or the differences are mainly based on what goes into the calculation, which I will, again, I'll show you next week for ROC. That is why ROC is so important. Why is this important? Why do you need to know the profitability, your stock investment company you're looking at, real estate investment, whatever you're looking at? Why do you need to know the return that that is creating? Because you want to know if it's using its capital efficiently or its assets efficiently. For example, if one company has an ROCE of 5% and another company in the same industry has an ROCE of 15%, that's a good sign that company two is not only doing things far better at 15% ROC than company A that has a 5% ROC, but that company, let's say the company, the industry average is 10%. So if the industry average is 10%, company A has a 5% ROC, that means they're not doing things as well as their competitors, which means they may go out of business at some point, their managers probably aren't that great, the value of their stock probably is massively undervalued, but it's probably a value trap because they're doing things so much worse than their competitors. The opposite of all of these are true for company B that has a 15% ROC because it's above the industry average. It probably has great managers. It probably has competitive advantages. It probably has a higher value of its stock, it may have an overvalued share price because of these things, but that happens especially the overvaluation part, that tends to happen if you're a great company. Um, today, and the time I'm recording this with the market craziness going on during this coronavirus pandemic notwithstanding. So um, that is why ROC is so important because you want to understand where the company falls, not only based on the 5, 10, 5, 10 15%, whatever the margins are, anything in between, anything above and beyond those. It also lets you compare to the industry which gives you an idea of the company's management, which gives you an idea of potential competitive advantages, which gives you an idea of what the stock should be valued at. To speak further to the valuation part, company A, or company A is down here at 5%. They're probably, if they've sustained that 5% over a long period of time, they're probably going to be undervalued stock perpetually all the time, or what's known as a value trap because they are constantly producing substandard returns compared to their industry. Again, the opposite is, of these is true. For company B that has a 15% return, they may be overvalued constantly because they are constantly producing above average returns when compared to their industry. So this goes knowing ROIC, ROCE, unlevered return on net tangible equity. They don't just give you insight into the number itself, which is important enough, but um, which is important enough, but they give you insight into management, competitive advantages, overvaluation, undervaluation, perspective onto all that competitive dynamics in the industry. When you compare these things together to each other, 
and to industry competitors, you get an enormous amount of information with a very easily calculatable metric, which again, I'll show you next week. This is also one of Buffett's favorite metrics. I learned, I've heard, I heard about this metric before, before I read, I think it was 2017, 2018 time period. I read every single one of the Buffett um, shareholder or Berkshire Hathaway shareholder letters. I read the partnership letters years before, but I could never get through the um, shareholder, Berkshire Hathaway shareholder letters because there's a lot of redundancy and it, it's kind of boring in the middle, frankly. But I kind of forced myself, again, 2017, 2018 time period to to go through all of those. And I learned about ROCE and unlevered return on net to net tangible equity, sorry, which are two of Buffett's favorite metrics that most people don't even talk about. Most people stop at ROIC because it's super important, as I explained in the videos before, which you can get below. It makes sense that that's, and that's one of my favorite metrics to use. But if you use all three together, it gives you an entire picture based on, again, the slight differences in the calculation of the entire company, which to me is more powerful. Plus, they're easy to calculate. And once you calculate them, even the advanced way, which I'll show you both, I'll show you the um, kind of basic way, I guess, next week. And then I'll show you the advanced way the week after that. It gives you a great look at the company. Again, from multiple different perspectives. And you can take care of these calculations. I do them by hand or on my computer or on my sheet of paper here and when I say computer it's not an excel it's on a doc um, just right typing the letters or the numbers out and it takes me to calculate all three for a company 15 minutes maybe so you gain a ton of information in a short period of time by using and evaluating these metrics and knowing more importantly what they mean how they affect the company all things I already talked about so with 15 minutes of time you can get an enormous advantage over other investors by who won't even take the time to look, <laughs> not even ROIC, most investor, uh, investors won't even look at that. But if you take time to just calculate these three, again, 15, 20 minutes, it to give you an enormous amount of information in a small amount of time. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, comments, if I missed anything in the description, if I missed anything that I should have talked about, you think I should have talked about, let me know in the comments below. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, love, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, um, subscribe and no hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video and we're releasing new videos all the time. If you're listening on the podcast, make sure to like, love, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff and download and review. We really appreciate your review because the more views, listens and views we get on our content, the more people we can help. If you're looking to become a better value investor faster, we have a bunch of free resources below this, including you can get some of my valuation templates for free. Um, you can get the valuation and profitability metric template for free as part of the five free gifts that are below that will give you access to my valuation and um, profitability metric template that I give to students, any new student I get. Um, and they have the definitions and calculations of ROIC, ROC, and unlimited return on net tangible equity in those. Below this, you also have um, some links to some of our paid programs as well if you wanted to learn faster. Um, but until next time, talk to you again soon. Have a great day.